Ian Rappaport uh, of the NFL Network, NFL Media Group. Our coverage uh, is uh, starting from this building today and building up all the way through to uh, pick uh, number one, all the way through to pick number 256 right here on the Rich Eisen Show. So you say that the Browns would know right now? That's it? They, they know right now the yeah. name that's going to be on the card? You do believe that? Yeah, I, I, I think they have a sense. Now, I mean, let me say it a different way. John Dorsey knows. John Dorsey, I Yeah, I read knows. that yesterday that John Dorsey's not going to tell Hugh Jackson until tomorrow night. Joe Banner came out <laughs> and retweeted that, and I know that obviously there, some people think he has an ax and it's grinding every now and then when, he's, when he ever retweets about Twi- uh, or, Cleveland Browns. Or really about anything. Okay. Although I love Joe Banner. But, but Joe basically retweeted that, saying that if this is the case, then why you even have the coach around? This is uh, a vote of complete no confidence. Is that true that he's not telling Hugh Jackson who he's thinking? At, yeah, at I mean, position? well, I would say this. I don't think he's telling anyone. Uh, there are definitely people in the organization right now that he's closer to than uh, than he is to Hugh Jackson, oh, and boy. I don't think those people know either. Now, I think they have a sense, and I'm sure Hugh has a sense, but no one has been told, yes, we are picking this guy. And, you know, Dorsey gets it. I mean, I think he likes the drama. I think he wants all eyes on the podium. And the reality is, in our world, and – I, me and my competitors do a very good job of making sure that there are very few secrets. Yes. So when he tells someone, it's probably going to get out. I mean, if you look back to, just think about recent history. He was with the Chiefs. He had the number one overall pick. It was Eric Fisher. We found out about 5 p.m. with the draft around 7 p.m. So he kept it a secret. Even in, like, a tackle draft, and it wasn't nearly as much publicity. Right, well, there, there was also not as much interest. Right, I mean, no, like, no which, which tackle are you going to take, <laughs> Eric Fisher or Luke Jokel, right. has nothing on what we're about to see maybe on Thursday night, yeah. which is uh, a total uh, surprise potentially when Roger Goodell comes to the podium for his first announcement. Ask the poll question, Chris. Yeah, guys, who should the Browns take first overall? Who should they take? Josh Allen, Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, Josh Rosen. Bradley Chubb. Ian? What about Saquon Barkley? You didn't put that in there? What? No. Uh, he's on there. <laughs> yeah, he's on there. Or you just forgot you know, to put him on there. I forgot to put him on you there. You just don't care about running. You, you no, have, he's just, no, he's no, a Rosen he honk. He has they're not taking, the back They're not position. taking Rosen. No. You're a Rosen honk. I, I am. am too. Just do what we discussed beforehand. Well, Three I for, quarterbacks, I just, Saquon and, I just and forgot Bradley Chubb. It is amazing how many people will believe... All the quarterback, the evaluation has been all across the board. I'll answer the question in a second. It is amazing how many people think that Josh Rosen has the best film, hands down, no question. Just as a quarterback, they think he is the best. Uh, for me, uh, I would say they don't have to play him this year. Uh, talent-wise is not a question. I think Josh Allen would make a lot of sense. The people who know and have worked with Dorsey think that's a guy that he likes. The big arm is unquestioned. To me, uh, you can let him learn for a year or two. I would go with that one. Okay. Uh, and then there's uh, some serious dominoes that would tumble the minute there we get one name from the podium. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.